bees fighting with them foes all the time. But I gotta do it, they always stay out of line. Sometimes I wanna just chill and lay. But I'm the protector of the emeralds and gems. Stay knuckled up in a deep cut. I'm seeing skulls that burn, they trying to throw me off. Avoiding my luck, I'm feeling kind of stuck. Don't call me nothing, give me a box. Hey, what is up everyone? This is Radioactive Fry SNG, and today we will be continuing this Let's Play on Sonic CD for the Sega CD, PSN, and Xbox Live Arcade, and today we are doing Quartz Quadrant Zone, um, so yeah, we're gonna be continuing on, and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and try and find the pass sign up here somewhere, should be one right around here, yep, right there, sweet. Alright, uh... We, sh we should be able to get speed right here. There we go. Skadoosh! There we go, yeah! Alright, got it. Not bad. That It's always so touchy right there. But, uh, yeah. And in case, if, if y'all didn't see it, holy crap. Okay, okay. There's like a, um, thing like right in this area somewhere. But this is by far probably my favorite, um, pass theme in the game. Even though, as much as I like um, Palm Tree Paradise and uh, all the other ones, holy crap. Like, I don't know, this one is probably my favorite in the entire game. And if I can get back up here, I don't know if I can now. But, oh god. Okay, here we go, yeah. There we go. Sweet. Skadoosh! And, uh, should be able to get up there. Yeah, there we go, sweet. So, so now we have a good future, we can probably just get some rings so we can go to the special stage now. But, um, yeah, this is probably by far my favorite pass theme in the entire game, like I said. Um, Quartz Quadra is just a beautiful zone, and this is, has, like, probably my favorite pass background as well, along with Stardust Speedway. I've never been sure, but the background here, I don't know, it reminds me of, like, how would I say, like, um, an early morning in Louisiana, because, um, I am from Louisiana, and there are swamps here, you know, if you go, like, in the bayou and, uh, like if you get on the interstate it just makes me think of like driving to new orleans or something early morning it, i don't know how to describe it but it, it, it kind of reminds me of that but there we go and we got extra life sweet so we're gonna get a shot at our fourth time stone here hopefully we can get it um like i said i've never been that good Holy crap, it's the trippy, it's the, it's the trippy one, uh, here we go, with the Mario Hills and everything in the background, kind of reminds me of like, uh, what is it, uh, I can't think of the name, Wizard of Oz, for some reason, the background always, I don't know why I always thought of Wizard of Oz for some reason with this, but the background is just like really, is ri really disturbing as you play, it's like, really gets in your way, we have four of these things left, let's see if we can get them, this one, I think, just stays in a straight path, so it won't, like, jerk off and go somewhere else. Because some of them will just, like, uh, make, like, sharp turns and stuff, and it's really annoying. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, so for the most part, these really don't move around too much. Here we go. There we go. Sweet. Just gotta avoid this water. And there we go. We got our fort time stone. I hope we can get this fifth one in this video as well, but uh, we'll have to see about that. We got the purple one. It's kind of weird because um, the purple one is always the last one in other Sonic games. Even in, I'm pretty sure even in um, Sonic 2 that's the case as well. It's always been the last one, but in this game it's uh, like the fifth or sixth one. I guess they just want to change up the uh, the color. The, the order of the colors, I guess. But here we are. I never even got to talk about how amazing the, the theme is here. And yeah, there's a pass sign right here, right when we start. Sweet. Um, but yeah, I do. I really, really love this uh, theme here and this stage. Um, how should I start? Um, the music is just really nice. I love the, the piano theme here. Here we go. Skadoosh. See if we can get some speed going. No, I messed up. Oh, crap. That's going to screw us over. I forgot that there was a spring there. Oh man, it's not good. <laughs> might have to, we might end up getting a bad future because uh, I don't. That's the only one that I know of as far as pass signs in the stage. 
Holy crap. Why is that one? Okay, there we go. Why is that one bouncy so high? Um, there should be another one in this area somewhere as well. Checkpoint. There should be one. Let's see. Um, but yeah, I do really, really love this stage. It's possibly, it's probably my third or fourth favorite zone in the game. I've never been sure, but obviously Stardust Speedway is my favorite. Everybody knows that if you, uh, as much as I talk about that stage outside of this LP. Um, it's really, it's really beautiful, but this one is just absolutely gorgeous. The music is gorgeous. The background's gorgeous. It's just a really nice stage, and I don't know. I, I can't get mad at this stage as I play it. Like, if something happens like what just did with the uh, pass sign disappearing, I can't... It's like the music is just too cheery or something. It, it just gives good vibes off. There we go. Bam. Yeah, I don't I don't know like where the other pass signs are, to be honest. I'm going to try and find one. There we go. Sweet. Oh, man. I don't know where to go with this thing, though. Like, as far as... um, We'll just have to not use it. Oh, there's a future- No! Crap! That sucks. Oh, might as well get rid of this future sign now. Get out of here. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure there's no more uh, signs now. Like, we just screwed it up. <laughs> so we're, in the we're gonna end up getting a bad future. Which is okay by me, because um, the bad future theme is better than the good future theme in this zone to me. So... I mean, and I, I am showing like both futures in each uh, episode, so it really, really, really doesn't matter. I just want to get it so that we can uh, make 100%. There we go. Let's go up. Come on. No, that's just something to drop you down. Screw you. Skadoosh! Um, yeah, let's get the shield right here. Yeah, I just love the piano theme here. It is just absolutely amazing. This is a really short zone, might I add, because um, it ju it's just really short. That's why I'm trying to make, I'm trying to like look around for stuff, just so that we don't end this zone off in like five minutes or something. I really don't want a short episode. But this zone is really, really short. Like we're pretty much done with this stage. Yeah, I didn't see any uh, more pass signs, so it's whatever. There we go. Gonna go ahead and try for number five here. Bada 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 bing bing. Yes. And we got another extra life. Holy crap. It's like every 500,000 or every 50,000. I forgot the number. It depends on the game, actually, as far as the uh, extra life scoring system. But it's not every day that you get two extra lives in one, uh, in two, in two different zones. It, it's, it's rarely ever going to happen. Like, especially like with games like Sonic 2. Like, I found that one to be the most e the most uh, lenient with scoring and stuff. I would get the most extra lives in that game. And even with that, it would take like a good two or three zones to get an extra life off of your score. Okay, let's see. No, 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 no. Crap. There's too much water in this stage. Good news is that this is the last one. If uh, we can get it, then we pretty much tackled the hardest uh, one. But we'll have to see about that first. Please stay still. No, come on. Crap, we messed up. Oh, God. There we go. We'll have to come back for another one again anyway. There we go. And we have three now. There we go, there we go. Oh, my God. The speed is, is going up. All right. So our UFO is back again. I missed it. What? What, hap what happened? What happened to my time? Seriously, I just had looked up, I had 20 seconds, then I looked up again, I had 3. Did I step in water? I don't remember stepping in water. Whatever. Alright, so here we are in the bad future of Quartz Quadrant. Uh, I love the theme here, like especially when the piano kicks in. And then there's like the little, um, the little, the little instrumental thing going on. Uh, there's like a solo where it's just like, uh, like kind of like a rap beat. I don't know if we'll get to hear it because this part of this stage is really short, might I add. But yeah, like once the piano kicks in, it's pretty good. But as far as like, I'm gonna tell you right now, the past theme in this stage is is the best out of all four um, tracks. 
But here we are in Eggman's little thing going on. You want to get that first hit right there so he drops quicker. Here we go. Good um, thing is that um, we actually have invincibility right now, so we can just hang out, never mind. <laughs> Yeah, so basically you're just running on the treadmill waiting for Eggman to uh, drop stuff. Holy crap. Come on, that thing was going. So yeah, we're basically just running now. It's really, it's a really weird boss, but it's fairly easy. It's really easy. As long as we don't get hit by crap. There we go, got a ring back. Yeah, all we need is like a couple more seconds and Eggman's gonna just chicken out on us. Get that ring, there we go. Holy crap. Here we go, come on. I think he's done, basically. Just gotta keep running. Then he's gonna run off. Eat chickens out. There we go. And there's like a weird thing right there where it like flashes red for some reason. Instead of like blinking out on the original CD version. But, um, when we come back, we'll look at the good future version. So, yeah. I'll see y'all in a quick second. Alright, here we are in Quartz Quadrant. Um, the good future version. Music is really nice and mellow here. I don't know, I just don't like it as much, to be honest. I might grow into it, because that's what happened with Stardust Speedway way back. I never really liked that theme until I actually got to hear it more. But I don't know. I've just never been a big fan of this uh, music. The background is really beautiful, though, I'll say that. Like, you definitely want this background. Like, you'd want this kind of setting over the Bad Future one, for sure. But here we are again. I'm gonna take on Eggman a second time. And we have 45 rings exactly again. Alright, we can just hang out right here. We don't even have to worry about those spikes for a second until this thing goes out. Work that sucker to death. Yeah, this boss is really, really easy. All you're doing is dodging that little thing right there. And for some reason, I always get hit by it. For some weird reason. I just suck at this boss. But I think, like, most of y'all out there will probably not even have a problem with this one. Here we go. Work that sucker to death. Work that sucker to death. There we go. Yeah, he's on his last legs again. Holy crap. I need to stop getting hit by stuff. Alright, there we go. So I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. Next time we will be going to work wacky workbench. Um, a really wacky stage as it's called but um, yeah we'll talk about that in the next episode so I hope y'all enjoyed if you did be sure to hit that like button and uh, yeah stick around for more Sonic CD in the future so until then peace out you have a good night <laughs>